Hey y'all, this is blog number six, and it's Tuesday, October 27th, we have one week until the 2020 election. Last night, Supreme Court Justice Amy Barrett was confirmed by a completely partisan vote in the Senate, and this morning, the Supreme Court ruled, I think it was this morning or yesterday, in favor of a conservative policy towards ballot counting, which is just scary considering we have a week towards the election, till the election. And essentially the ruling was that, I think it was Wisconsin, any ballot that they receive after election day, not that it was like postmarked by election day, but anything that they receive after election day can't count because there's this notion that Donald Trump has put forward and Brett Kavanaugh echoed in like an eerily similar verbiage that we need to know on election day who the president or, you know, what the votes are. That's never really been the precedent, apparently. Um, Plenty of, especially when the Constitution was written, votes take a long time to count and arrive. You know, if you're in the military or absentee or serving abroad somehow. So this notion that only votes that have arrived by election day will be counted is a new and strange political stance that the Supreme Court is now also voting in favor of. Um, So it's been a really wild couple years. Um, And then uh, it's going to be wilder too. So I saw a thing today about making a, a plan a mental health plan, just in case the candidate you want doesn't win. I could take that advice. Um, But yeah. We have one week. So obviously everyone should vote, but also maybe there's time to phone bank and reach out to loved ones, make sure everybody's voting. Um, But in terms of my vlog, today I had a call with the Sacred Sons, which was really great. I'm doing a facilitator training, and this was our first call. It was really powerful, Um, and it reminded me about the power of taking responsibility, not only for myself, but for my brothers and my sisters and the world. Um, It starts with responsibility for self, taking responsibility for my actions and the impact of my actions on myself and others in the world. And then also taking responsibility for my brothers and sisters in the world. And that's what leadership is. And there's kind of a lack of leadership right now. We live in an individualistic society. And, you know, there's health in boundaries, of course. But um, there's maturity and wisdom in, in identifying with the whole you know, there's like the Bible story of like, I'm, I'm not my brother's keeper. And there's the John Donne poem of no man is an island. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of wisdom and power in taking responsibility for the collective. And that's a real uh, important piece of leadership. And we're in a time where we need more leadership. And I want to encourage you to heed the call of leadership being a leader and taking responsibility for your own life, but also stepping into a leadership in whatever community you're a part of, whether it's your family, your friend group, your workplace, you know, in what ways can you step into leadership? And in what ways can you contribute to the collective? Um, a couple interesting experiences in this facilitator training call was this question about where am I underconfident and where am I overconfident? Um, so I invite you to consider that in your life too. It's like, where's your edge of confidence? Both underconfident, overconfident, and where is the sweet spot of presence where you're just the right about confident? And then underneath that presence, can you feel the trust in yourself, in the universe, in the collective that you don't need to get everything perfect? You don't need to be 
without flaws in anything you do? Um, and can you just trust that whatever needs to happen is going to happen if we have the courage to do our part? So that came through. And then the last piece was about play versus performance. Can we relax into the childhood experience of just play for play's sake and not get caught up in perfectionism and this notion of doing a good job and performing well as if we're being judged or, or graded. Um, there's like an early experience we have of just being completely present and doing things for the sake of inherent value and inspiration and not worrying about what people think of us. So yeah, those are some takeaways from the Sacred Sons uh, training. And yeah, so I'm holding that on this late Tuesday night. And this has been blog number six, vlog, blog, it's all the same. Hope you have a good night and I hope you take care of yourself and take responsibility for some ways that you can treat yourself better treat those around you better because we can always all do a little better in loving ourselves and the people we love with that i'll bid you good night peace